One small but noteworthy addition to 3D Coat recently in regards to auto retopology is the fact that the user now can skip some of the steps in the wizard in order to more efficiently process auto retopologized parts. For example, if I were working on a mech object like this that has lots of subcomponents and I need to go through and auto retopologize each individual part, I need to make that process as streamlined as I possibly can. If I'm working on just one object or two, I may not notice much of a difference. So let me go ahead and demonstrate by hovering over a part here. I'll hit the H key to auto select it. And then I can come over to the layer in the sculpt tree that's highlighted, right click, and I can choose Auto Retopo. To further streamline this, I'm going to assign a hotkey to it. So I'll hit the end key while hovering over Auto Retopo, and then I can make the hotkey assignment. Let's say Shift Control A. And I did not get a warning indicating that it was assigned to anything else, so it automatically got assigned that combination. Let's go to the layer, right click, and then hover over Auto Retopo, and I can see that the hotkey assignment was made. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that out. Control Shift A. Now, I want to estimate the poly count here. I'm going to go with about 5,000. I tend to go over just a bit. If I try to undershoot it too much, then I may have to make multiple attempts. So I think it's better to go a little bit on the high side. With all that said, what I really want to draw your attention to is the new feature here, Bypass Density and Strokes. These are two parts of the wizard that are normal and it's something you may want to use. But if you know that you're not going to use them, it's good to check that so it will bypass them. But let's go ahead and uncheck it for now because we're going to compare how it works before and after. I'll go ahead and click OK. So you'll notice it gives me the first step of the wizard asking, do I want to apply additional polygonal density in a localized area? If I do, I can paint select that area. In this case, I do not. So I'll click Next. And then it's asking, do I want to apply some stroke guides to aid the algorithm? In this case, again, I want to try and let 3D Coat attempt to do it on its own. And I should say at this point, 3D Coat has quietly refined and improved the Auto Retopo algorithm recently as well. However, a general rule of thumb still applies. The more simplified the object you give the algorithm, the better the result you'll get. So again, if it's super complex, you want to be a bit careful with that. It can do a good job in many cases. But again, if you can try and work in a modular fashion. So I'll click Next. Okay, so it did a fairly good job there, and I'm now going to select some additional parts here by hitting the H key as I hover over it. Again, that will auto-select it. Control-Shift-A. Let's try about 3,000 polygons instead. Hit OK. This time, I'm going to bypass the density and strokes part of the wizard. I'll click OK. And so it just creates the mesh. I don't have to skip through those parts of the wizard that I don't intend to use anyway. Let's uh, select something else. And again, I'll control shift A. Let's try 2000. Okay. And it's just going to create the mesh. No additional wizard dialogues. In summary, it's a small feature, but nonetheless important in situations like this. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.